Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I am back with another video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you like what you see. You decide to subscribe and become a part of the Money Minded tribe. And if you are one of my returning subscribers, welcome back guys. I'm back from La La Land. I feel relaxed, refreshed, renewed. Uh, I had the best time ever last weekend, the best time ever with my best friend ever seeing our best band ever uh, for three nights at the Hollywood Bowl, which I will go on record as saying is the best venue I think I have ever been to. It is lovely, so clean, so well-maintained, uh, uh, facilities, beautiful, clean, well-maintained, and the staff is so friendly and second to none. So yay, Hollywood Bowl, yay, Los Angeles. I had a wonderful, wonderful time you guys and it was uh equal parts relaxing as, as well as industrious we walked around you know uh, on hollywood boulevard saw some stars on the sidewalk <laughs> none in person and um ate some good food uh the two things i did not do is i did not make it to a dollar tree and i did not make it to the 99 um both would have been a short Uber ride away, but even a short Uber ride in um, the great city of Los Angeles would have taken, I think, more time than I cared to spend in a car when I could be outside in the sunshine enjoying the beautiful weather, which was spectacular. Really, really nice. So thank you, Los Angeles. Thank you, Angelinos. Uh, thank you for a wonderful time. We really enjoyed ourselves thoroughly. It was really, really, really fun. So Anyway, uh, the theme of today's video is a Dollar Tree haul and um, a few items I purchased right before I left for LA and most of this stuff I actually purchased. Um, yesterday, I went to um, this really big Dollar Tree that's in a town where um, my son Jacob had a track meet. Um, and at their local high school. And I was very excited because uh, this is the same town that has a Dollar Tree that I don't get to as often as I would like, just because it's not really, it's kind of out of the way for me a little bit, but uh, was worth the trip because I found some really uh, nice items, some good uh, jackpot items that I am eager to share with you guys. So why don't we just go ahead and jump right in? So before I left, I bought these things that I bought before I left. I uh, bought because I really wanted them and promptly forgot them because I'm a ninny. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think this is a great deal. I bought by Extra Care. This is a, a two pack of hand sanitizer. Each little bottle is two ounces and this is the one with aloe. Yeah, moisturizes with vitamin E and aloe. Uh, great deal. Completely forgot to take it with me. I meant to refresh the bottle that was in my purse, which was more than half full and got me through the trip. But, you know, I had bought this with intention and purpose. But don't worry, this will definitely get used around here. That's not a problem. And then, um, you know, uh, when I fly, I'm a good flyer, generally speaking. But sometimes, you know, turbulence makes me nervous. Um, it, it, actually, both of my flights were really good, by the way, so um, I really don't have too many complaints with that. But I like to be busy on a plane. I like to be reading or um, doing something. So I thought to pick up a couple of puzzle books, and I picked up this one. It's called Great Big Crosswords in large print and uh, with 128 pages. It's a nice big book of crossword puzzles, which I bought to keep my mind busy and promptly forgot. Again, ninny. And then I bought this Jumbo Word Find Pad, which uh, doesn't say how many pages, does it? It does not, but retail on this is $5.95, you guys. $6.95 in Canada. So I thought at $1.25, that's a great deal. But because I'm a ninny, I forgot this as well. <laughs> So what I'll probably do is my aunt lives in a senior building and next time I go to visit her, which will be soon, um, I'll just leave them in the lobby. Someone will pick them up and I'm sure we'll want to have them. They're brand new. Didn't do any of the puzzles in them because I forgot. Um, so how did I occupy myself? Well, fortunately, uh, United Airlines has, um, what's it called, Direct TV on their flights. And so on the way down, I watched a couple of uh, World War II um, documentaries and slept through part of them because it was kind of uh, an early morning for, uh, early morning start for me that morning. And then on the way home, I watched the Whitney Houston biopic, which is, I think it's, um, what is it? Somebody to dance with, um, 
I want to dance with someone. I want to dance with somebody. I think it's I want to dance with somebody. Nonetheless, it's the new Whitney Houston biopic. Um, it was really good and such a reminder of what a what an incredible, like outstanding, godly talent, really. Uh, God bless talent that uh, Whitney had and how she was gone too soon. It was it was really good. It was a good movie and a good reminder of uh, what an incredible, incredible artist she was. So uh, that's how I <laughs> entertained myself in lieu of the puzzle books that I forgot at home. Uh, so that was that. And then, oh, actually, I picked these up uh, before I left for L.A. too, I should say, because when I was browsing the puzzle book section, I noticed that... Um, at this particular Dollar Tree, which is uh, the one in my town, um, they seem to have re-upped on books. So I'm hoping, you know, summertime brings us some uh, good books once more because I be I was scoring right and left last summer on some really awesome books, some beautiful journals. And uh, sure enough, I found three really cool journals I'd like to share with you guys. The first is, this one is called Conquer Your Year, The Ultimate Planner to Get More Done, Grow Your Business, and Achieve Your Dreams. And it's by someone named Natalie McNeil, who's the author of The Conquer Kit. So I'm presuming this is almost, this is like the planner uh, counterpart to her book called uh, the, the Conquer Kit, or maybe it's a kit of other items. I'm not sure. But I, you know, I thumbed through this when I was in the DT. Let me put my glasses on because why would I front that I can see? You know, I can't. Um, I was thumbing through this in the DT and it is, for the most part, an undated planner. Here, I'll show you what this would look like. So this would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of your week, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on the following page. But you can yourself write in what week it's for. On each day, you could have five tasks or five um, intentions or five, whatever it is, I suppose you would want to list there. Um, there's three things here. It says dwell in gratitude. So three things to be grateful for. And um, under, there's a little section here that says mastery and well-being, and you can log, have you drank all your water today? And did you get exercise? And then there's a deliverables and a receivables section here, and I'm not exactly sure how I would use that because that is a super businessy term. Those are super businessy terms that I'm not really uh, familiar with, but I mean, I'd be interested in reading more about that, but maybe I wouldn't even use that section in that way. Maybe this would just be for notes for me or for anybody. I think this is really cool. I think this could be used independent of, you know, any other parts of um, the author's kit here. You know, it's, um, it's really cool. And then even in the beginning, in the getting started section, they say your word of the year. This is interesting. Before we dive into setting your goals for the year ahead, consider your intention for the year. I pick a new intention word, sometimes words, so you could do multiple words, I guess, for each fresh year. And then it says here, your turn. Write your word in the space below. Or if you want, get creative and crafty. You can look through magazines and photos to find a word or intention that resonates with you and then cut and paste it into the space below. So you could collage, you could whatever. It's kind of like a little workbook here in the beginning to get you started. And then here is where you log all of your activities. So I thought that was a really cool journal. And technically you could start this at any time. I mean, this is one year's worth of pages and weeks, you know, for you. But I mean, I could start it now and work through next April or next May if I wanted to. So I thought this was kind of cool. Conquer your year. See if you can find this out there. Maybe somebody you know could use that. Maybe that somebody is you. <laughs> and then um, this is a journal that I've hauled before and um, I found a bunch of them at this location um, at my local store. And so I bought several, uh, perhaps for giveaways, perhaps for gifts for people um, close to me, you know, in my life, in my, in my, uh, in my family, anybody. Uh, but this one is called Spark, which is a journal to unleash the creativity within you. It's really pretty. It's got like kind of a soft touch feel kind of cover. And um, inside, I'm trying to show you some of the pretty pages like here we go. Sometimes there are quotes. Um, it tells you to, to draw or create something that is two things at once. And then it says down here, how are you two things at once? Oh, this is interesting. So there's all kinds of different sections, different little exercises, beautiful illustrations and quotes, um, different activities to do just to Unleash your creativity. This says, art is not what you see, but what you make others see. And that is Edgar Degas is the one who said that. 
So I think this is a very cool journal. I think uh, teenagers could benefit from this. I think adults could definitely benefit from this. Um, anyone really, even a, even a young kid possibly, you know, with a little bit of extra guidance, but it's cool. It's just a journal of doodles and words and thoughts and all kinds of interesting activities to spark creativity. And then the last uh, one I found here is this one is called Make Time to Be Present, Meditations to Be Here and Now. It is a journal, this beautiful red cover. I've seen others haul this last summer, never found it myself, but found several copies this time. So I did pick up, I want to say I picked up three of the Spark Journal that I just showed you guys and three of this one, again, to give as either gifts or possibly as future giveaways. You never know, guys. But this one um, is also um, colorful. It's a guided journal different activities and questions. Here, using color cues. What do you need more of today? Energy, calm, confidence, joy, healing? Choose a color that speaks that quality to you. And there's a beautiful color wheel here. And then it says, as you go through your day, look for that color in your environment when you need focus. Stop and study an object of that color as if seeing it for the first time. How does that color mediation affect your day? Wow. That is a really great exercise in mindfulness, which is exactly the intention of this journal. So I think this is really neat and feels kind of doable, actually, based on that uh, one activity alone. But I did thumb through again when I was at the DT and I was like, this one's a really nice one. So I picked up several of those. Uh, what should we move on to next? Uh, let's do some food items. Um, I picked up, I thought this was a good deal. These are five packs of the Cheez-Its. Um, now, the top package says the Cheez-Its snapped, but then I noticed back here, these are Cheez-It white cheddar. And these look like they're the regular Cheez-Its. Here, let's just open the package real quick. Apologies Oy, for the crinkling. But yeah, this is a mixed package. I'm not used to that. Yeah, we got, so this five pack of Cheez-It snacks came with two white cheddar. Um, oh, two of the cheese it snapped. Those look good. Those are kind of thin and crispy and one original. Cool. I picked up two packs like that. What does this one have then? Here's the other one. And it looks like also see a mixed bag. We got original. We've got white cheddar. I can see those, but what else do we have in here? I've never seen it like that before, but who cares? I like all this stuff. So we got a white cheddar. Uh, we have one, two, three original. One, three original, one white cheddar, two white cheddar. So two white cheddar, three original in this one. A mixed bag of Cheez-It goodness. And to me, there is nothing more delicious than Cheez-Its and Diet Coke. <laughs> don't ask me why, but I love that combo. Beer is not bad either, but I don't do that too often. Not a big drinker myself. No judgment. It just makes me tired, and I really don't need any help in that respect. <laughs> uh, what else did I get food-wise? I'll take off the glasses and rest my eyes for a little bit. Oh, I was hungry. And so I picked up these Wortman chocolate uh, sugar wafers. These are delicious. Yum. I'm a big fan of this type of wafer cookie to begin with, but the Wortman in particular are really, really tasty. They have a very real taste, not just sugary, but really tastes like chocolate, you know? So I picked up a pack of those, but never tore into them. So I'm hauling them for you guys. And if I had torn into them, I wouldn't have been hauling them for you guys. <laughs> and let's see, I think this is the last food item, right? Yes, last food item is... This is called Pure Kick Blood Orange Energy, six, uh, six pack of the, you know, the little powder drink sticks, you know, that you put in water bottles. This has caffeine. Okay, now I have to put the glasses back on. Um, it come, uh, So each one of these is 80 milligrams of caffeine. Wow, that is a kick and only 10 calories. This is the blood orange flavor. I've never tried these before. I've never seen this brand before. There was also an electrolyte one, which maybe I should have picked that up also. Why didn't I? Foolish. I'll have to see if I can find that uh, once again, but this is kind of neat. Um, so I'm a cold caffeine person, and I don't mean coffee. I don't like coffee, you guys. Fun fact about me. Ew. I really do not like coffee. I don't like coffee flavored anything. Just, I never developed a taste for it. I don't care how much creamer you put into it, how much whatever. 
I'm just not a fan. I don't like it. I like tea a lot, but I'm not always in the mood for tea. Most often my caffeine source is something like Diet Coke. But what's cool about this is um, if I didn't have a Diet Coke handy, for example, while I'm on vacation, but I wanted something to wake me up in the morning, I could have just mixed up one of these in some water, you know, and had a little bit of instant caffeine to uh, wake me up until we could be out and about and get, get ourselves some breakfast. So I don't know. This seems very cool and I can't wait to try it. I'm very curious. Okay, uh, a few health and beauty items. Um, this is a repurchase. This is the by Assured, the women's razor system. It comes with one handle, with one blade installed, and then two extra blades. I like this. I like this in both the women's and the men's version. I buy it for Jacob. He likes it too. He says it's a very nice razor. So, But he's good on his, so I re-upped uh, to get a few extra blades for mine. Um, you know what I would trade for, Dollar Tree? Um, I would trade for having this as a refill with maybe five blades for $1.25 only with no handle. I've got plenty of handles. You know, if you buy this system and then would have as an aside the uh, refills, I bet you would get a lot of sales. Just a thought. Who's listening to me? Nobody. Except for you guys, which I appreciate very much. Thank you. But Dollar Tree, they're not listening. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Um, this I was really, really excited for. Um, so I've been uh, scoring the... Um, the goalie vitamins. Uh, I showed you guys, I got the uh, super greens gummies. I got the apple in the 30 count and I found 30 counts of the apple cider vinegar gummies, which I'm looking for more of those because um, I decided not to um, partake in those for myself, but I brought them for my bestie and she loves them. She said, if you can find more, find as many as you can and put them in a box and I will pay you. So I am on the lookout for more of those. She really liked them, whereas I did not. They were just too unpleasant. I'm like, I, I'm fine. My gut, my gut bacteria is just fine. Thank you. I'm good. <laughs> but, um, and I'm not a fan of the super green ones either. Um, for me, they just didn't, um, they gave me indigestion, quite frankly. I don't know. They just weren't. And I tried them with a meal too. And even still, I just felt like they just didn't agree with me. Uh, but Jacob loves them. So I was thrilled to find more of these, it, but this time in the 60 counts. So I bought four of these in the 60 count. He takes these daily. He really, really likes them. And um, although Jacob is, uh, he's been a really, he's been on a good uh, eating kick lately and he's actually lost a bunch of weight. He's gotten really lean this year. Um, he's still not wonderful in the salad <laughs> department, if you will. You know, he's not a big vegetable eater, but I feel like with the super greens, he's getting more of what he needs. And I think these really help him quite a bit. So I bought four big bottles of these goalies. And then here's one that I never found before. This is by the brand Emergency, and this is, I hope I'm saying it right, Ashwagandha. I believe this is what, how you say it, Ashwagandha gummies. Uh, there are 36 in here. These are uh, a berry blend is the flavor, and it says it provides daily immune support plus helps reduce feelings of stress. Um, so this includes natural Ashwagandha, high potency vitamin C for immune support, antioxidants and B vitamins all in these gummies. So I bought four of these as well. I've never seen this before. So I am thrilled. Oh my goodness. We are just going to be full of vitamins, vim and vigor. Thanks to the Dollar Tree. Thank you, Dollar Tree. I appreciate you guys bringing stuff like this in. Oh, expiration dates, I should tell you. So on the ashwagandha is December of 23. Okay, so we got quite a few months left on these. Ooh, should have bought even more. I should have bought enough to get me through the end of the year, maybe. Mm. I don't know if these are out there. So if I can run into more, hey, even better. Um, on the goalies, we've got uh, June of 23. June of 23. I think Jacob will take all of these probably by then. And even if they go a little bit past date, I think he's just going to be fine. I don't think that's going to be an issue whatsoever. So those were really great finds. Um, and then also in the health and beauty section, I re-upped on shower poofs. <laughs> I change these out every, once a month, every 30 days. I use a fresh one. So we needed a couple extra for the stash. I like these. I like that they were three different colors. We got two shades of green and a white, two shades of blue and a white. Shower poofs. Always need a fresh one. And then I found, so this is cute. So I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, for Mother's Day, 
Um, Dollar Tree is just killing it with all these cute gift basket stuffers that, you know, all kinds of beautiful things you can put together to make a beautiful gift for your mom, uh, including these spa headbands in like beautiful floral prints. But what I found was this one in just the regular bath and, you know, where they have the April, that, right, April bath and shower items, you know, so like where all the poofs are, where all the, you know, bathroom stuff is. I found these and I love the sherbet colors on this. And no, I don't have long hair, but you know, if you want to do a mask, I still want to push this back. Or if I'm wa when I'm washing my face, I still like to push my hair back. I don't need to be soaking wet like all over here. You know what I mean? So I thought I'm going to get one for myself. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is so, oh, and it looks like it's big head friendly, which is good because I got a big noggin. Oh my God, this is so adorable. I should have picked up more for Hugo's nieces. Oh my God, I might have to go back. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. It also came in like a black and white spotted that almost looked like cow, <laughs> which I love cows, by the way. I like anything cow print. I, but I was just, I like the sherbet-y colors of this one in particular. Uh, was really attractive to me. So that's why I picked up this one. But it came in like a cow print and I forgot what other colors. There might've been one or two others. I don't really recall. But yeah, these are by April Bath and Shower. And that's where I found it in just the regular bath section. So this is for me. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I, I'm definitely going to have to uh, pick up more of those. And then um, moving into some decor items, I told you guys it was a good score. I went into this store and I was just like, ooh, jackpot, jackpot, unicorn, Pegasus. So many good things. It was awesome. So I have been looking for um, these little baskets. So these are the kind of oval shaped ones that was that's from the uh, Shore Living collection. Um, the other baskets that I've seen out there that are a little bit darker in color are actually more round in shape. These are more like an oval. You see, guys, this one's like kind of an oval shape. I have two here. Um, but I love these too. These are great. And what I wanted to use them for, and I couldn't believe they still, they had these in store in this, you know, because I almost never find the two things I want in the same place. Well, I found the little ceramic birds. And I thought, I'm going to make a nest for them. Of course, he's down too low. Um, but what I also bought was some Spanish moss to put inside the basket and create like a little nest for my bird. I bought the birds. Here, let me put this down. Oh, I'm so excited. I just like want to show you guys everything at once, but I only have two hands. So <laughs> um, I bought the birds. I bought one in blue and one in white. I love them because they'll go with my living room colors because I plan that's where I plan to put them. They're so cute. I love them. I love how round and fat they are. Okay, another funny fact about me is um, in real life, birds freak me out. I mean, you know, they're lovely and whatever. I wish birds no harm, but I also don't want one touching me or coming near me, like in my head space, in my body space. Like, please do not. I'm not into birds like that. I don't know. They just, I, they're just, I don't know. They they're unpredictable to me. And for some reason, they just kind of freak me out. But um, these little birds are adorable and they are very welcome in my house. Um, I can't decide if I want to put both in one nest or do one in each little nest. Um, so I bought two of the baskets. Um, even if I only wind up using one as a bird's nest, um, I'll use the other for something else. So, um, and I'll take a picture for you guys and put it on my uh, community tab, which I hope you guys do visit because I try to post something daily or darn near close. So, uh, yes, so I got the baskets, the birds, and the Spanish moss, and I'm going to make my little bird's nests. So I was excited about those. And then for reasons that I'm really, I really can't explain, I bought this beautiful little bottle with the little, I love the top. It, this is made from acrylic, but the rest of this is glass. And this is like a real little stopper. Like it does, it does seal. You hear that? And I bought it just because I thought it was really pretty. I don't know. It was sitting on the shelf and the light was hitting it just so, kind of like it is right now. And I just said, you're so pretty. Just get in my cart. So I don't know. I'm going to find some place to set this either in the kitchen or maybe even in my living room. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you guys know where I put it. Maybe I'll take a picture of that too. But I like this a lot. It also comes in like a blush pink color, um, but I like the clear, at least for my spaces here. And um, lastly, um, I found some awesome um, um, patriotic decor. Sorry, <laughs> fumbling on words. I'm a little under caffeinated at the moment. 
Um, but I found some awesome patriotic decor, including the uh, bead strands, the red, white, and blue bead strands. And this one, oops, I just dropped one on the floor. Sorry, guys. This one has the star on the end and it says USA. And this is how long it is. It's a nice, substantial little bead strand. And with the tassel and, of course, the red, white, and blue on the tassel. So that's with the blue star. Pardon my bend. And then <laughs> this one uh, with the American flag as the uh, little charm piece. Also with tassel in the same length, red, white, and blue. Super, super cute. And uh, the last one. And this is, um, I think this is representative of all three that they had available, it says USA, with a little uh, map of the US cut out, bead strand, and lovely little tassel with ribbons. So I picked those three up. So I think I said on a couple pa uh, couple videos ago, you know, I don't really um, decorate for, you know, for the Independence Day holidays or for the patriotic holidays. Well, I kind of do now. The gnomes were the problem. See, the problem is the Dollar Tree has really good patriotic stuff this year. So I guess I'm decorating for the patriotic holidays now. <laughs> it's those gnomes. I'm telling you, they get me every time. Okay, you guys, the last items um, that I picked up were also from that patriotic collection. And that is these um, set of two ornaments. They're the star ornaments I got um, in every color available. I got, here's the red. I love these, you guys. I picked up the white. I think these are really well made. I think they are super, super cool. And of course I had to get, ooh, easy swingers. I had to get the blue. So I plan to take these and um, on my fence posts, I'm gonna alternate red, white, blue, red, white, blue on my uh, fence posts in the backyard just to, de just to decorate for fun. I think they're cool. I think Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict had pointed out that these would actually make really cool Christmas ornaments. I mean, why not? Or to honor, um, is there somebody in your family who's uh, in the service? I think these would be lovely on your Christmas tree to uh, to honor them um, and to thank them for their service. Maybe you could find a way to zhuzh this up a little bit and um, they could be really awesome uh, Christmas ornaments. Um, but you don't need anybody to be in the service to utilize them that way. I think they're they're super cool for that purpose. Absolutely, you could do the red or white that way, I think very easily. And you can also always, you know, take apart the beads and do other things, you know, that kind of thing. But these are great, you guys. Really, really cool. The Dollar Tree is just killing it lately on the decor. I think the shore living stuff this year is really awesome. Um, I'm not a beachy person myself as far as decor. I, I like it. It's just not my thing and I just don't have it. Um, but I really love what they have. You know, if it is your thing, wow, you guys are just, <laughs> you're over the moon right now. And um, I love the patriotic stuff for the holidays coming up. I think they, Dollar Tree has just done a great job with that too. And um, some of their fun summer uh, entertaining stuff, you know, the big flip flop uh, serving tray and some of the paper goods that they have out there. Oh my God, the light up uh, drink cups. Oh my goodness. It, Dollar Tree's, get, you know, they've got us uh, with vitamins for our health so that we can party down with our friends uh, and our family. And there's nothing better than that, really. Thanks, DT, for helping us uh, live a better life on a budget because that's really what it's all about, you guys. That's that's what my channel's about. That's what I'm about. Um, I'm not cheap. I'm thrifty. <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> anyway, you guys, Thank you all so, so much for sticking around with me. Uh, almost 30 minutes now. Um, this is a this is a long one, but I really enjoyed bringing all these items to you. Again, if you are new here, I hope you like what you see. Please stick around and subscribe. We have a good time here. And um, for my uh, current subscribers, thank you all so much for coming back time and again and spending your time with me. Uh, I love you all so much. I thank you all so much. And I bid you all 